Okay, we're back again. What I'm doing is I'm trying to uh, get his collar to come out a little bit. So what I did was I took it at an angle, just like so, and then come back up like a big V cut, but a little bit deeper. Because we have room here to cut a lot of the stuff away. That's part of his collar. The rest is underneath his big head. And um, I'm going to try to get his tie out the same way as you see. So we're just going to alright and we're going to keep going with this tie. We're just going to kind of outline it a little bit. We'll paint it all up. You'll see it when it's all done. I'm going to put a little notch at the top of his tie there. Alright and then I'm going to just back this up a tad. Um, I feel like there's too many. Okay, right there we're going to bring this down and bring that out. Just like so. And the bottom part of his tie because it's going to go over that belt a little bit. <laughs> a lot of cops today, they don't wear the ties anymore, but some do. Depends where they work. Um, ours in town, they have more of the squat team look. Uh, much more comfortable, I'm sure, than I never liked wearing the tie at my some of my jobs that I had to work at as a guard. Okay, and I'm going to go down here now. Underneath the tie, I'm going to start putting in the belt. Alright, so we're just going to kind of take things out. Slowly kind of get the little features out of his belt and stuff. And their belts are pretty wide, so uh, they're usually black in color. Um, the gun belt usually goes over the regular belt. Um, how it works. Alright, just like so. Alright. Now, of course, I'm going to go offline and I'm going to try to, um, that's a little crooked. I don't know what I did there. Let me go down a little further. And it's got to go this way yet. That little piece. You know, you can do a lot of fussing with a uniform or any kind of um, uniform. There can be a lot of detail put into this if you want. I'm going to clean out this donut a little bit later. But um, I'm going to go around here and try to finish up his belt. So I kind of have it marked here where I want to go. So it's a matter of putting some stop cuts in and following it through. His shoes, you know, he'll be in a blue uniform. Now his gun, you gotta have a cop with a gun, um, will be right under the PR-24. So usually um, when I had my weapon on it was always tucked underneath my arm. Uh, one thing I think most cops are afraid of or the fact of having the gun used on themselves. Uh, so because you have it with you, you're responsible to make sure that nobody else gets a hold of it, of course, and, and you know, always wondering and protecting that weapon is a, is a majority of your time. I know as an armed guard, I was very, very aware of who was around me and all that good stuff. So, you sure don't want to get shot with your own weapon. But I'll tell you, the police academy taught me an awful lot about that. Um, you know, and how to protect yourself and self-defense and some of all the other things. It's a great experience to go through. Alright, so we have the gun out. We have the 
the PR24 will round that up. We've got his belt going around him. We've got to do the bottom part of the belt yet. So we'll do that next. We'll get up there and do his face after a while. I'm not going to do anything with the rest of his belt. There's a lot more you can do. You can add things if you want. You know, a great way to search what's, what they wear and, and such is to go to Google and just Google police officer pictures and you'll get a great idea of what they what they carry today different than what we did in the 90s things have changed quite a bit over the years now, of course that terrible hot vest that they wear that uh, bulletproof vest they are hot folks I, I never went to work without one as an armed guard and um, I wanted to make sure I came home. That's for sure. So I just got wind of doing something like this out of blue the other day, and I thought this would be fun to do. Do something a little different than what Santas and snowmen and such. A lot of you enjoy that. Uh, that shepherd project okay he's got a huge vest on <laughs> I'm gonna trim him down here in the back a little bit all right Get a little more proportioned all right there we go all right so we've got his tie in there we've got his gun belt in there and now I'm going to try to do his shoes. So what we're going to do is we're going to keep going across here. And we're going to come down just a tad here to round this off a little bit. Bring this down. And the back, of course. Alright, we'll be back in a little bit and we'll do his feet and such. Alright, we'll be back.